Hey everybody, it's me Donna. Well, I'm sitting in the kitchen and that's like my favorite place. Well, it's one of my places that I go. Yesterday I went out, but today I'm home. Well, I'm back here at my daughter's house. Okay, so um, I wanted to do, I haven't done a movie review in a long time and I got these movies from the library before everything went haywire, um, before they, we got the virus and stuff that they, yeah, that the, they're, um, you know, and we just, uh, we got one thing done, um, they got, like, they started, like, they're supposed to be, like, um, letting up on some of the stuff that they've been, like, uh, like, where we, where we can't go outside and all this other stuff, stay at home orders and stuff like that, well, they're letting up on some stuff, like, they, um, so you can go to the park now, and they say that they opened up some businesses, and, um, so they done, and oh, you can get out on a boat, you can go out on a boat, you can go to the park, and, um, so this is, like, the first step, but hopefully they open up some more stuff, because, I mean, we have a lot of people that need to go back to work, you know, the economy is going to tank, are, um, we're going to go into a deeper depression and everything. So we have to think about the people. We have to think about all the people that have children and stuff. And I know they got food banks and stuff. But a lot of people would rather, rather go back to work and make money and, and support their families and stuff. So um, we have to think about those people. And it's unconstitutional because you can't go to court right now. Well... They say they got, like, court online and stuff like that. But, you know. And then they're talking about how we're not going to be able to vote this year at the voting um, booths and stuff. Okay. I got this in the mail. I got this in the mail for voting. It's the, uh, um, for president. Well, this thing here doesn't even have, um, the president that we have right now. It doesn't even have, um, Trump on here. It, and, um. See, because uh, I'm registered as a Democrat, not a Republican. And, um, so, but this doesn't even have, um, you know, it doesn't even have, um, oh, man. It doesn't even have, um, yeah, it doesn't even have our, our president on here right now. No, no president, our president is not on this paper at all. Oh, and, um. Says United States President, vote for one. And they got um, Biden, and they got uh, Michelle Boomerang, Boom or something, um, Booker, and uh, they got a bunch of people. But there is no uh, Republican president on here, no, none. And um, then they got Congress. They got a few people for Congress. Uh, district 2, because that's, I guess that's what I am, is District 2. And then they got, um, Democrats, more Democrats. And so, that's, and this is the end of the val ballot. So it's, there is no president on here. And it says, uh, primary election. Primary election. So maybe this isn't for November. I don't know. But anyway, this is what I got. This is what I got right now. So maybe this isn't for the uh, November. But anyway. So, okay. I really like going to the polls and voting. That, that is really the way I like to vote. At the polls. Go to the polls and vote. So, and then you got to put your name, and then they can send you this piece of paper, and you have to put your, I don't, I think it's upside down, upside down. And then they ask you a bunch of questions, and then you got to sign it and stuff. But, hopefully, hopefully they have the election at the polls, because i rather go to the polls and vote. I ask usually what I do is, I go to the polls and vote. That's my arm, sorry. I go to the polls, and I vote, vote. And a lot of people want to go to the po polls. And then they're talking about people want to have, like, the card that says who you are and stuff on it. And um, they want them. Instead of, like, because a lot of people, they got people from other states 
that are from other countries illegal and we don't want them to vote. We don't want them to vote because that they're illegal. They're not legal people. We want everybody who's legal to vote, but none of the unlegal people to vote. Okay. And now I'm going to do the movie review. Okay. So these are the movies that I got from the library, but I got to take them back. I'm just going to throw them in the drop-off box. Put them in the drop-off box because the library is not open yet. Okay. So this is Tyler Perry. A neighborhood, neighborhood, um, neighbor from hell. That's what it says. Neighbor from hell. And it was a pretty good movie, and I enjoyed watching it. And, um, then this is, uh, this is Granddaddy Daycare, which is funny. I watched it a couple times, and it was really good. Really good. Talking about getting old and stuff, which is no fun. Okay. Yeah. So that's Daddy Daycare, and that's really good. And, um, talks about, talks about people and their health problems, too, as you get older, different things that can happen to you and stuff like that, and, uh, you know, how, how your kids really take over to be the parent instead of you now, and all that stuff, oh, well, and then, um, I got this movie last time, it's A Mile in His Shoes, this is about this boy who can't hear, I don't, I, yeah, he can't hear, but it has a lot of Bible verses and stuff in it, and it's about faith and stuff, which is really cool, so that's a really good movie, that was a really good movie, and then this one here, it's Medea Gets a Job, Medea gets a job, um, in like a nursing home place, and it's really good, and I liked it, I thought it was really good, yeah, yeah, so that was really good. And The Dog's Way Home, that was a really good movie. It's about this dog, and the, um, they find this dog underneath an abandoned house, and he's over there. He's, uh, she's there with a bunch of other animals, like cats and stuff. And um, and um, it's really good. And they, this, um, the people that are animal control want to kill this dog. Which is not good, but it was, it's a really good movie. You should watch it. Watch that movie. And then, um, I know this is a Christmas movie, but I got it anyway. It's a Wonderful Life. This is a really good movie. This is a really, really good movie. This got a lot of faith in it, too, you know. They show the angel comes down and stuff, and he helps him and stuff. Shows all the people that he, his life affected and stuff, which I think is really good because you know that you do affect other people's lives. When you're really nice to other people and you help other people and you do things for other people, you don't really realize how big of an impact um, uh, effect that you are making on other people's lives so this is a really good movie so when you're nice to other people you're making a positive effect on other people's life and um that is really important little things that you do are good and that's how you can help people and then that's really um really good too so when you're mean to people and you do mean and mean and hateful things you know that's not good that's not good and you know in the Bible they talk about turning the other cheek and stuff like that. And being a good Samaritan and stuff like this. Well this movie here is really good. This is uh this one late this lady here, this is a um they they made this movie about this lady, but it's about um oh god. It's about um I can't even hardly say it. I'm so sorry. Um it's about like when black people were slaves and stuff and um how she helps them to get across and everything and all the violence and stuff and all the stuff they have to deal with and stuff so it's a good movie you should watch it yeah it's really good and um okay this one here is called the conductor these people are um like the people that swing the thing when you play the music and stuff like that. And how they um, pick them out and stuff. Well, I didn't really care too much for this movie. It wasn't that, to me, it wasn't that great. When this lady here is like a conductor. And they talk about how they hold their hands and different things. And what they're looking for when they, um, you know, um, get one. And stuff like that. A lot of German people in it. 
a lot of German people in it. American, German, different nationalities and stuff. And this is The Last Flag Standing, which is a really good movie. And um, these guys here were war buddies. And um, this guy here, his son dies. And uh, so they are helping him. I mean, they're helping this guy here. And you should watch this one because it's really good. And uh, it talks about how the government lies to people, lied to them and everything, different people in the army and stuff. Okay. So you should watch that one. It's good. And now this one here is in, um, this one here is, um, this one here is like England and stuff. And then they have to have a fancy dinner for the queen and stuff. And uh, these people here were running the house. And then they got some new people. They come in and they want to run a house and stuff. And run a dinner and stuff like that. And um, it's really good. You should watch it. It's good. And now they got one more movie. And this is called The Jumper. And then they jump into like different buildings and stuff like that. And... It's really, you would like it. It's uh, more like fantasy and stuff like that. But you should watch this one. It's good too. Um, it's n not, um, you know, like, I don't, the movies that I pick out are, don't have a lot of, um, they, they, this one here did have a little bit of violence in it. Where is it? Where is it? Um, this one here has a little bit of violence in it, but it's not too bad. And I don't have none, of, I don't think I have any with sex in them. So, um, that's pretty good. You know, they're not doing like disgusting or dirty things or anything like that. So I think, I think these are good movies if you want to watch some movies. Um, you know, and, um, I try to pick wholesome stuff to show you guys. The dog movie is really good. So you should watch that. And, um, so yeah, so that's what I do. I don't try to get real cruddy, dirty movies or with uh, really bad language or anything like that. So I hope you guys enjoy this. And um, I love you all and I hope you're having a really good day. And then this think about like, um, like yeah, so, so hopefully, I hope they open up more stuff in Maryland, you know, because people do want to go back to work and stuff. And, you know, our civil rights and stuff like that. And um, people want to go to different states and do different things. And, um, yeah. I mean, you probably can get to a different state, but you're going to have to get on an airplane to do it. And, um, yeah. So, yeah. But this one here, this one here talks about, this movie here talks about people, older people and what they're going to what they're going through as they age and stuff like that and and how it affects the family you know because the people the people that were the kids are now becoming the parents parent so yeah you have to think about that plus it has sandwiches in there too like um like the parent um the parent goes to live with the um with their kids and then the the Kids have kids, so it's like the sandwich generation. So, yeah, you should watch that movie. That's a really good movie. And, um, so this is my video. And I like Medea. I like Medea. I really do. And, um, uh, hopefully I'm going to get some more movies with Medea in it. Um, like go back to the library and stuff. And, um, these are the movies that I got at the library. And, um, yeah. So I got some five, um, not five dollars. I got some expensive fingernail polish. Like this stuff here was like four dollars. To me, that's expensive. And then I got this stuff here from the dollar store, and it was only a dollar. But this what I got on. So it's really good. I like this fingernail polish from the dollar store. It's good. And this stuff here, I'm not sure about this color. I don't really like the color. But what I could do is put a color over top of it, and it will lighten it up. But anyway, so, um, yeah, so this is my video, and I uh, hope you all like it. And if you like it, give it a thumbs up. Um, subscribe to my channel. You can write me at, um, if you want to write to me, I, I will, I will rewrite you, write back to you and stuff. Um, and, um, 
I hope you enjoy my videos. But give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I love you all. And I hope you're having a really good day. And I hope a lot of your dreams and, and stuff are coming true that you want to do. Okay. Love you all. Talk to you later. Bye.